Hey everyone, this is Jeff, and um, I, we did a short 30-minute uh, video explaining how to improve your run times for Wingman Day. And I've had a lot of folks ask me, where can I get that video, or where can I get the information? So I just said, hey, I'll do a quick two to three minute video of, of, and cram everything into three minutes, all right? So let's get going, all right? The first thing, if you're trying to improve your mile and a half run time, the most important thing you need to think about is this. Everything has to be timed, all right? Three minute runs won't get it, all right? You need to run shorter distances faster, all right? That's the key, all right? A mile and a half as fast as you can run it. That's the key, all right? So let's get started. Day one, let's say Monday. You go out and you're gonna run quarter miles. You're gonna run six of them under whatever time you're trying to achieve, all right? So for instance, if you're trying to do a 13 minute mile and a half, then guess what? You're running your uh, quarter miles 210 or faster. All six of them. That's day one. Let's say we come back on Wednesday and we run again. And we're only running three days a week. Do you get that? Three days, only running three days. Wednesday, we're running half miles, three times. All right, and get it? How many quarters are in that mile and a half? There's six. How many half miles in a mile and a half? There are three. That's what we're doing. Under X time, once again, if we're trying to run a 13 minute mile and a half, then we're running our half miles under 420. All right? Next, on Friday, we go out and we run our longest run of the day. All right? It's a one mile run. You're going to do it twice. And you're like, Jeff, I thought you said we're only running a mile and a half. Well, hey, you know, how, you know how many miles are in a mile and a half? There's two, all right, according to my rules. With that said, all right, X, all right, under X, what is X? If you're trying to run 13 minute mile and a half, we're looking at 840, all right? Now, I'll give you the breakdown, 12, 13, 14, 15 minute mile and a half. Uh, I think you can do the math from there if you want to run faster or, you need, or you're going to run slower, all right? But that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is, on Tuesday and Thursday, I don't believe in break days, all right? So bottom line is we're still gonna be working out on Tuesday, Thursday. But everything we do, we keep it short, all right? Really, total training time should be somewhere around 20, 25 minutes, all right? On the days you do your runs. On the days we do this, all right? Basically 12 to 15 minutes, that's all, all right? But what you're gonna do is you're gonna get on the bike, elliptical, something that's not impact, and you are going to run or, or work hard for one minute, and then you are going to recover for one minute. Hard, recover, hard, recover. 12 minutes, you're done, all right? Then you're gonna go to the weight room. We'll talk about that in the next video. 313, not bad.